Hello friends, welcome to the school of sport. In this video, I'm going to explain all the rules of basketball. It's fantastic sport. So imagine you have a basket and a ball. What are you gonna do? You're gonna put the ball into the basket and that is the basketball. The objective of basketball is to put the ball in the basket, but the real basket is 10 feet above the ground. So if you're a short person like me, whose height is six foot, then you have to throw the ball into the basket, which is tricky because ball and basket are are of almost same size but if you're a tall person seven or eight then you can just jump and put the ball into the basket basketball is placed on a wooden floor it's identical ground uh, which has two halves and two basket one uh, for each team uh, played with the basketball you have a five players on your team let's say the black uniform is yours so you have a five players and then seven players are substitute you can substitute anytime uh, but at the time only five players will play and your opponent have five players so your opponent here is in a white and black uniform and they have their own seven substitute now your objective is to put the ball in your opponent's basket and your opponent's objective is to put the ball into your basket now depending upon where from where do you throw the ball into the basket you get different points and the ultimate goal is to score more points than your opponents so if you throw the ball into the basket from anywhere outside the blinking area, then you get a three points, but that's a tough because it's farther away. Now, if you score point from anywhere inside that blinking area, then you get two points because it's closer. So that would be two points. So outside this area, three point inside this area, two points. Now there are special cases uh, when a free throw is given, it's like penalty in soccer, a free throw is given whenever there's a foul and when there's a foul you just simply put the ball into the basket and that is easier so you just get a one point for that. The farther away you are from the basket, the difficult it is. If you're close, then it's easier. So you want to move closer to the basket. And how can you do that? Whenever you get the ball, what you can do is one is you can travel with the ball, but you have to dribble the ball. You have to put the ball onto the ground, bounce it between your hand and the floor known as dribble. The second way is whenever you see your partner, then you can pass the ball to your partner, throw it to your partner called pass. Now you can dribble the ball, pass the ball, try to move as close as you can to the basket and whenever you feel you are close enough, then you can throw the ball into the basket, known as shoot. So you have three options all the time, either dribble, pass or shoot. Now the game starts with a tip off. So all your players, the black uniform is on one side, the white is on another side. So ball is tossed, your player jumped, your player gave a pass to your another player. Now what would happen is your opponent, since it's a five on five, each player would try to block one. Player. One of the opponent player would, would try to come close because he would make sure you don't go closer to the basket. And then your players will try to go close to the basket, but your opponent would prevent it because if you're close, then you can easily shot the ball into the basket. So here your player has a basket. We are running a scenario. Uh, what your player can do is move around and whenever get an opportunity, throw the ball into the basket. Here they get a three point because it's outside the uh, blinking area. Another thing they can do is they can move around and give a ball to your another player and they can shot into the basket. So these are ways in which you can score the baskets. Now once you score the basket, ball is given to your opponent. They would try to pass it to their players and their players will try to come here and put ball into the basket. Now anytime ball goes out, if your player has thrown ball outside in any direction, then ball goes to your opponent. Or if your team has done a violation, or then ball goes to the opponent. Uh, and if the opposing team has done the violation, then ball will come to you. So violation is very important. So let's understand what's violation. Your opponent has a ball. Now they have a 24 second. It's called shot clock violation. So in 24 seconds, they need to move the ball and take one attempt onto the basket. They need to throw the ball near the basket in 24 seconds if they don't do then we get the ball another is eight second rule so they have eight seconds to move the ball in this area if they don't move in eight seconds then it's a timeline violation we get the ball the third rule is five second rule so here uh, the opponent has a ball now if this opponent doesn't move doesn't dribble doesn't pass in five seconds then it's a five second rule and then we get the ball the fourth one is three second rule three second rule is this is our free throw zone 
or we call it lane. Now the opponent standing in our free throw lane or uh, for more than three seconds, then it's called lane violation. Then we get the ball. If we have a ball and we are dribbling. This is our player dribbling with two hands. That is not allowed called double dribble you can just use one hand at a time you can switch between left and right hand but at a time only one hand or if you're just running while carrying the ball that is traveling so you cannot move more than three feet uh, while having ball in your hand another one is when your opponent is throwing the ball it's on the rim and your player tries to tip it off that is basket interference you cannot do that when ball is on the rim of the basket you have to just allow it to fall inside or outside and one is I've always used to think, what if I have a player who just protect my basket like a goalkeeper in a football? So that is not allowed. If a ball is going into the basket and you're protecting it, that's called goaltending. The thing is when ball is coming down and going into the basket, you cannot do it. But if ball is going up, then you can do it. So going up, you can block it, that's fine. But coming down, you cannot block it. That is not allowed. That is called goaltending. So if any of these violations done by one team, the other team gets the ball. We talked about free throws earlier. Remember this one? I told you special situation. Your player stands in this area and throws the ball into the basket. So what is this special situation? It is basically a foul. Whenever foul happens, depending upon where and when, uh, you can get different free throws, one, two, or three free throws. So what is a foul? Basically, there's offensive player and defensive player. So if offensive player try to bump into the defense or try to hurt them, then that's a foul. And same with the defensive player. Defensive player cannot hurt the offensive player, uh, then that would be a defensive foul. And depending upon where the foul happens, different number of free throws are given. So here's the situation. Our player has a ball. Now let's say he's trying to shoot and then opponent came and hit him. So in this case, it's a foul. Now because our player was attempting three-pointer, remember he's outside this area. So he is attempting three-pointer and the ball went in. So in that case, they just get one free throw. But if the ball would not have got in, then they would get three free throws. If you're attempting two points, then a basket happened, one free throw, no basket, two free throw. If there's a technical foul, which means uh, there was abuses or unsportsmanship like conduct, then there's a one free throw. If there's a flagrant foul, that means the player has really damaged the opponents. It's very unsportsmanship. Then that's a two free throw. Now, basketball is played in the four quarters of 12 minutes each. So in every quarter, four fouls are allowed by a team. If they do the fifth foul, then fifth foul on the opponent get two free throws for every foul. This rule is different. Check out this rule for the league you are watching. This one is for NBA. Now that we understand everything about basketball, we'll get into the game directly. So over here, if you can see at the top, uh, the purple team has four points. Uh, the blue team has eight points. This two shows the second quarter. This 150 shows one minute and 50 seconds remaining in this quarter and 24 seconds shows the shot clock time. So they need to shoot the ball in 24 seconds. Let's get the game started. Now the blue team started, they gave a pass and it's a shot attempt. The ball didn't go in. Now the ball is with the Wiley team. The Wiley team is charging. They have four points and it's a two point basket. So they get two more points. Now they got six points. Ball is with blue team. Blue team is dribbling, charging close. It's a pass. Uh, again, they are charging. They are not able to go closer to the basket. It's a good defense from Violet. So now the blue is trying to shoot three point. So that's a three point shot, but it didn't go in. Now the ball is with the Wiley team. The Wiley team is again charging back. A good defense from the blue team. Blue team took the ball out of the opponent's hand and that's a two point. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you understand basketball now. Do check out my channel to learn about other sports. Let me tell you one thing my friend. If you understand the rules of a sport and follow it for a while, you will fall in love with the sport. I guarantee no matter what the sport is. Sport is such a blessing to humanity. Enjoy it while you can. Bye bye.